Okay, I've just been servicing this radio, and then I thought I really ought to have done a video on it. And uh, I haven't done a video on it, so it's going to be a, a, um, a retrospect thing. This is a... I, I realise these are quite unusual, and I don't think I've ever seen another one. It's an RT852 radio technique. And it's basically the DNT M40, which this came out probably about 87. And it's, it is a DNT B40, but with all the inadequacies addressed, like the crystal filter, like uh, there's some transistors thing. There was a DNT super tuned version, you may remember, uh, which was um, kind of UK done. Um, they took an ordinary DNT M40 and they did some alterations including crystal filter and some transistor changes and it was done by Cleartone, the, the business radio firm a well thought of business radio firm and so they bulk modified uh, DNT B40s and it was called the super tuned uh, DNT B40 and, and they work very well well this is basically a super tuned DNT um, M40 uh, but it's factory made like this and it was later done so this has come in from an estate sale um, of a silent key radio ham. Um, Mark, who, you know, stick, puts the stickers on the back of our radios. I'm not, I think we must have run out of amber <laughs> the day he did that. In fact, I think he's going to come in a couple of weeks. So the minute lockdown's over, he's going to come and label a pile of CBs, I'm sure. Um, anyway, he used to be in a radio club society whatever um at nottingham and I'm trying to think what it was called it used to meet at the blind institute on mansfield road anyway um this was a silent key sale. i don't know i don't show sure if it was the former carlton amateur radio harold who'd passed away the way it was somebody else but uh, and nevertheless this is uh this came via that um means and so it was more or less spot on but I have managed to alter things um, I've got the knobs in the dishwasher at the, well, the, yeah, at the moment and uh, the, well I've had them in the dishwasher and I've now taken them out and not put them back on so anyway uh, and the case has gone in the dishwasher and the original mic housing has also gone in the dishwasher and oh I'll take that off we don't need that on So the only thing was, there's a wire come off the radio, um, and that just goes onto there uh, on the uh, on the extension loudspeaker socket. So I will show you on the test set, and I'll just tell you the things. I'm not going to go and untune it and retune it. And uh, I say that because we're going to be doing a DNT B40, which I think has arrived today. Um, I bought a batch of um, uh, well, effectively scrap business radios uh, and which, uh, CB radios, and there's three kilo, there's 33 kilograms in three boxes in my porch at the moment, and uh, I think uh, when we do the on-the-air test for this, I'll I'll take the camcorder into the porch. There's three big boxes. And in that box is a DNT B40, which is the base version. And I've always said they came crystal filtered as standard, like this is. And people have said no, they didn't. But the circuit diagram shows it, not the circuit diagram, but the the blurb actually does show that it's crystal filtered. So I, I don't know, you know, why people say that isn't the case, whether or not somebody nicked the crystal filter on the one they saw. I don't know, but anyway, so we're going to be covering that, and we're going to have to make sure that power supply is spot on before even powering it up, so I think we'll be going into that in depth, so we don't need to go into this in depth, because we're going to cover it, as I say, and I think that's going to be tomorrow, so I don't need to do this in as much depth as I could do, so I'm going to tell you rather than show you so 
So the first thing to do on these radios is to set the 10.24 oscillator for the synthesizer. It's a general purpose synthesizer. Uh, it's the Motorola MC Changes Glasses 145106. So it uses it's normal 10.24 crystal as its master oscillator and then it has a transmit mixer and then it has a receive mixer and they have to be set separately so the procedure is that we set the 10.24 with the trimmer monitoring pin 4 of the IC and I use my uh, small oscilloscope which are I will actually show you that. So I'll just connect that up while it boots up. I find it's easier than a frequency counter to do these type of things. So if we monitor pin 4, or is it pin 3? It's pin 3. So it's now 10.2397. So two hours ago that was 10.24. So that is the first thing you set. Can unhook the test clip. And then we can set the transmit. So I'll go into picture in picture if we're on the right camera. So now, if we're going to transmit, we've got, he's, he's tuned up, he's doing 3.8 watts cold, which is fine. And then on transmit, if I show the frequency counter, we're at 2779121, well it was 125, so it means, I may as well alter that um, for the laugh. And so it's the right hand trimmer. best to keep them slightly high and then they drift down with age so the right hand trimmer is the you, so what I'm saying is you could make it transmit and this is where people go wrong they'll alter the 10.24 to get the transmit right but then the receive will be out on its IF because that's generating the feed to the IF to, for the 10.695 so that's why you, you know, so you've got this crystal mixer and that's your transmit one, that's your receive one. So we've done that. So to go to do the tune up for transmit, it's that coil, that coil, that coil, and then it's the obvious three for peaking. So that one, those, and up. We're not going to touch these, it's all to do with VCO and that, and not we don't want to touch that. So the RF meter is that preset, the deviation is that preset, low power is adjustable and it's that preset. So on receive, which we'll now go into, see if my signal generator is anywhere near, no it's not. Okay, so we're out on frequency with that. So to do the receive, we've got to set the frequency using this mixer crystal. So we switch on our cheap Chinese signal generator, which we're going to use as a marker oscillator. And I understand that we've stored one of these.
There we are. Somebody said you could save and store things. Not that it saves that much time, but it's very quick to set. So, I'm going to... In fact, we'll turn that off. Set this so you can hear the signal generator. Turn the audio off the signal generator, the modulation. May as well get rid of picture in picture. And now we'll switch this back on. And all we need to do is to dangle the output lead in the vicinity of the IF and then trim the crystal. I mean, listen, I mean, it is spot on this, I've done it before. So I'm going to undo it so you hear that musical note. So it's off frequency. It goes through to being on frequency and then we go out the other side and it's on fre off frequency again. So that when that musical note disappears there's no beat it's spot on frequency so it's 10.695 on your second signal generator the frequency we're on which is channel 20 27791 to on your main signal generator so the only variable is then the radio switch that off now so that's how receiver is set on these the detector is that coil, or the discriminator, depending on what you want to call it. And you're setting that for maximum audio, recovered audio. When there's a tone. And then we've got the IFs and the two front end. So that's the S meter. And I, do, I couldn't really improve this much, but it's doing not point... It's doing 0.3. Put the sit that back on. So we've got 12 dB sign add there, and the signal generator is doing 0.3 microvolts. That's at 0.3, that's at zero. So it's very good. And I also can tell you it's doing. 0.29 microvolts for 10 decibel cyanide and for 20 it's doing 1 microvolt for 20 dB cyanide. So the sensitivity is there, the selectivity will be there because of the improvements on this uh, Radio Technic RT852. And that's told you 40 minutes worth of uh, in blurb in 10 minutes. So the squelch isn't adjustable. And, and isn't that clever to be honest so just to recap 10.24 monitoring pin 3 it turned out to be of the um, synthesizer IC set the transmit frequency with that mixer crystal and set the receive frequency with the signal generator on the desired frequency plus a marker oscillator on 10.695 and you're looking for null so there you go, the Radio Technic RT852. So I will put a few more bits together and then we'll plug it into the aerial and we'll no doubt see some good or bad buddies out there. And tomorrow, so we'll if we can get into those boxes we'll get the B40 out and we'll do something with it okay so back to record it's one of these sets with the channel free light and we have a RF gain uh, by means of having a switch DX or local so let's see what happens one on a roger
Well, the answer's not a lot. I think they're all having their tea. Right, we'll do an on-the-air test later on. And uh, there you have it. The more unusual radio technique RT852 from about 1985-1987 era. Thank you for watching.